by fans of high quality entertainment. So I haven't done a tier list in a while and I've been wanting to do, to do this one for a while. It is John Lennon's solo career, including his albums with Yoko Ono and two official live albums. And oh, one thing I need to add, there's a reason, as you probably know. Add a row below. And let's call this E. Because I think a album or two or three might end up there. <clears throat> so for me, John Lennon, you know, you know, when when somebody says, Who's your favorite singer? It's kind of difficult to answer because there's so many, <laughs> you know, depending. Uh, Paul McCartney is probably at the top. Russell Mail of Sparks. Um, John Anderson of Yes and his solo career, of course. But uh, that that's actually, that would be good for a tier listing. Singers. For me, John Lennon in the 60s with the Beatles, definitely my, my favorite singer for the Beatle, Beatles era. And I guess for the solo, for the solo years of the Beatles, even though John Lennon's albums were great and he's still sang very well, of course, Paul McCartney, uh, even in the seventies, uh, would be my all, all time favorite singer. I think if I had to, but John Lennon would be right up there with him. It's, it's just sad, you know, what happened, of course. So in no particular order, let's get going. And I would love your thoughts on, you know, where you would rank some of these in the tier list. So John Lennon, rock and roll, never been one of my favorite albums of his, him doing fifties uh, cover songs. And I, I think, I don't know, it, it just could have been better produced, um, even, even better sung on some of the songs. I'm going to put that in C. Live album, live in New York City. I, it's okay. It's uh, a good live album. I don't even own it at the moment, but I did have it on vinyl. I'll put that in B. All right, let's get these out of the way. Two Virgins. Yes, I have that on CD and on my and on this channel, Canadian Stud Muffin. I I listened to all three experimental albums all the way through. <laughs> it wasn't fun. My first and only time. So let's put Two Virgins in E. Let's put Wedding Album in E. Now, which one, when I do this, the one furthest to E, you know, at the bottom is the worst, right? They're, 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 they're both bad. And then, now, Life with the Lions, and I've told the story before. When I saw that at a downtown record store here, and I knew the owners very well. And I brought it up to the counter, not knowing what it was about, except there was a beetle on the cover. I'm buying the album. And I didn't, and even back then, I didn't mind Yoko Ono at all. If I had heard her songs, like with, with John. But when I took it up to the counter, the uh, record store owner says, you know, she kind of warned me. Don't buy that because it's all just screaming. I bought it anyway. I didn't listen to, don't, don't listen to adults when you're a teenager, almost a teenager, I guess. I was maybe 58, 68. Yeah, I was about 11 years old. I brought it home and yeah, I didn't like it. <laughs> the one side was all guitar feedback and screaming for over 20 minutes. And the other side included what was it five minutes or two minutes of silence baby's heartbeat and 
I do know the story behind all of that now, but I didn't back then. But still, it's not very good. But it's the least worst of the three because I don't mind uh, side one. I can kind of listen to it more now than I could back then. But, and I'm a fan of, like I said, I am a fan of Yoko Ono's music. Her song, Why, was an early favorite. I love that guitar work by, by John. And her screaming, too, or whatever you want to call it. But the other experimental stuff is not good for me. But, you know, there are people that even like the experimental crazy stuff like that. All right. Live Peace in Toronto. That's a good live album, but I'll put it in B. For for being the first time the band was put together, I mean, on the plane they were practicing, <laughs> playing together. They did a pretty good job. I'm not a great fan of uh, the B side with Don't Worry, Kyoko and all that, even though, like I said, I'm a Yoko Ono fan. But overall, it's it's a B for me. Imagine by John Lennon. I know most people would put that in S tier. I'm putting it in A. It's a great album for sure. But it's a, I don't know, after his debut album, Plastic, his real debut album, Plastic Ono Band, he's playing it a little safe on this. In a good way, of course. Imagine as a classic, How Do You Sleep, uh, Jealous Guy. It's a great album, but just for me personally, I don't consider it S tier. However, I do consider Walls and Bridges S tier. I think it's a very underrated album. Sometime in New York City. Now, the, the thing is with that, if it was just the first album, all the studio tracks, it would be, I think it would be an A tier. And I I even love the Yoko Ono songs. Actually, my favorite song on it is We're All Water. But the live stuff with Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention, not a big fan of that. And so I would have that at, at maybe D or C. So overall, for the two albums, I'm going to put it in B, but at the start of B. I like it more than Live Peace in Toronto. Mind Games. Now, in the past, I would have put that probably in C. But with the new remix and the really nice box set that was gifted to me by the Lennon Estate, it's not S tier, but it's, I'm going to put it in B. Yeah, I like it more than sometime in New York City now. Plastic Ono Band. John Lennon's first real solo album is S tier. It's I think it's one of the greatest albums ever. You know, he's you know, especially that first track, Mother, his vocals are just amazing on it. Milk and Honey, I rarely do play. Uh, you know, sadly, it was not completely finished because of what happened with John. Uh, even Yoko's songs aren't as strong as on Double Fantasy. I will put that, because there are some great songs on it, like Nobody Told Me. I'll put that in B, but I do like Some Time in New York City better. And then Double Fantasy. So I also have the uh, Double Fantasy stripped version, and I highly recommend you, uh, you know, buying that on CD or, or vinyl because it's so good. It's, uh, it's, it's just more sparse production. They, they take some of the, you know, it was a bit overproduced, I, I feel, at the time, and it just makes it sound better and you can buy it and when you do buy it you also get the original uh, re remixed album or remastered album so that's not s tier because of that but it's still a tier and i'm gonna put it over ahead of 
imagine because you know the way I, I think of this is okay if i had imagine and double fantasy in front of me which album would i want to listen to and it would be double fantasy so there were no d's just three e's <laughs> so yeah i would love your thoughts on this tier list and thanks for watching please remember to subscribe and leave a comment below bye